A number of sightings of the processionary caterpillar have been reported on the rock recently. Known to cause harm to both animals and humans, I spoke to the Botanic Gardens director, Keith Ben Susan, who told me more about the creatures. These are the caterpillars of the pine processionary moth. It's a, a moth that's found throughout the Mediterranean and the larvae, the caterpillars, uh, feed on, um, on pine needles. They spend most of, their, of the, the, their lives as caterpillars in nests up in the canopy of these pines and it's only when they leave the pines to look for places in which to pupate that we tend to see them and that's when people see them walking in single file uh, looking for places to, to um, pupate, to turn into these moths. There's been a number of sightings of these caterpillars recently. Are they seasonal? They are, they're very seasonal. Uh, I mean, they're common anyway, but uh, we've been seeing a lot more over the past two or three years, probably because of the very mild winters that we've had. Um, they, they also seem to be emerging earlier and earlier, possibly as a result of climate change as well. So whereas before it was typical to see them sort of February, end of February and March, uh, we've started seeing them as early as December. With all the pets in Gibraltar, I was interested to learn about the problems these caterpillars can cause. So I took a trip to the vets to find out more. The common problem is uh, problems in the mouth, in the tongue, necrosis of the tongue. And sometimes when they swallow the caterpillar, they also can cause necrosis on the stomach. And do you see a lot of cases here in Gibraltar? Yeah, you can, you can see in any place, where do, when do you have a lot of pine trees, do you have a plenty of caterpillars, so it's really common. And what treatment do you give the animals who've touched or swallowed these caterpillars? If you're working with your dog, the best thing that you can do is uh, a lot of um, warm water in the mouth because the warm water um, stops the toxin leaving, something like that. And warm water, plenty of warm water, and then we use like medicines uh, cortisone and the common medicine that they use when you have like an um, allergic reaction and antibiotics also because when you have a necrosis you can have a lot of infections. So you recommend that they be brought to the vets though? Absolutely. If you're at home and if you have warm water you can start with that but then you have to go to the vet. We have to check the, the dog, the entire animal and check if he swallowed the, um, the entire caterpillar or not and obviously start with the treatment. So, if your pet gets affected by these creatures, don't panic, but make sure you follow the vet's advice and get them checked out.